What's good, Rendezvous? I'm Chris. Hi, my name is Michelle. Hi, my name is Bronze Grissom. Hi, my name is Karitha. And I've been going to the Rendezvous for about a year now. Um, I was invited by a friend and I loved it, absolutely. was so pumped to be here and I couldn't believe that this place was around. But March 17th, compelling night. I don't know what it was, but Rich was going. He said, there's no such thing as a halfway Christian. Paul said, I must die to my flesh every day. People think that coming to Christ is all about living. No, it's all about dying. And it hit me in the heart and I saw him dip. Not once, not twice, but seven times. And I said to myself, that's faith. So it's time for me to stand up and have faith. So that day, I gave my life to Jesus. And without the rendezvous, I wouldn't have did it. I can remember um, one night I was feeling very uncomfortable. I had a really long day, a really bad night. And it was about 3.30 in the morning. And um, I was thinking, God, like, I really need some prayer right now. I decided to call my group, my gap leader, Don Cherie. And she, she just got up out of her sleep and she was like, you know, what's wrong? What can I help you with? And she was so open. She listened for about an hour. We prayed for about another 30 minutes and she didn't get off the phone until she thought that I was completely comfortable. God looks at you as his son. God looks at you as his daughter. Tonight, you need to know that you are a treasure. God wants to put his arms around you. He wants to take you places you could never dream before. But first you have to understand and you have to begin to change the way that you think in your mind that you are. I thank God for her. She's been a blessing. My, my Gap sisters have been a blessing. Um, we're there for each other. If someone's in the hospital, we're there. Um, if someone's going through a happy time, we're there. If we just want to hang out, we're lonely. We call each other, we get up, we're there. So I really enjoyed it. A moment and a night that really touched me in a different way, uh, really convicted me. It was a night that, uh, that Pastor Rich and uh, the team preached on something in the air. There's something coming in the air tonight. Something is wrong with the culture of our city. Can you feel it in the air tonight? Yeah. It was God's presence. It was God's presence in that room, in the church. Um, the Word of God just coming from the preachers, the pastors, Pastor Rich himself, the worship team, the feeling in the air that night, it was something different. And I know it may be lyrics to a song, but it was more than that that, that night. It, it was personal. It was personal to me, and I could tell by the feeling in the room, the emotion in the room, that it was, it was personal to a lot of other people too. And that's really what kind of hooked me. That's really what got me, because all the cool people, all, all the awesome people that I met, the, the leaders, the, the worship team, everything was great. Everything was amazing. And that would have been enough to keep me coming back week after week. But that message, God's presence, God's word, that I felt deep down inside me, really like that for the first time, that's what hooked me and that's what got me. And it's things like that that are happening on a weekly basis, on a daily basis at Trinity and at the Rendezvous. I was going through just a lot of things in my life. It was hard to transition into living on my own. And I was also physically just feeling sick and run down. I had had fevers and just feeling, you know, like, just run down for, for days and so we're having worship and it was just awesome that there was just something about the atmosphere that it was just everybody was just in tune and in one accord and just worshiping it was amazing you know all of a sudden he says okay we're gonna do something differently we normally don't do this it's gonna take a couple minutes and he asked if you know he said he felt that people were, were feeling sick and maybe you know in their bodies and just going through some things and so he wanted us to in faith um, you know, raise our hands, go to the front, and we were all going to come into one accord and in the power of agreement, I remember him saying, he was just going to go down and just literally just touch everybody and believe that God was going to take whatever ailment or whatever was going on, he was going to take it away. I remember I was like, this is definitely me, so I went up, we did it, we worshiped for some more, yet after that moment, the worship was just even, even more intense. So. The service went on and I went home. I remember I was driving in my car and all of a sudden it hit me and I was like, oh my God, I don't feel sick anymore. I was not only feeling well, but I was like so much more excited and just like ready. And I remember saying, God, you know, I was like so pumped that I wanted to just like run and tell everybody. And I'm like, God healed me. So it was amazing. So the rendezvous for me, It's like life, 
every time I come, I get something new. And next year, I know Rendezvous is going to be intense. And I'm believing that we're going to take Miami by storm. Can you imagine what next year holds for us? And I know that this is just going to be a year of even greater things. Yeah, I ain't seen nothing yet. We're going to run this town. We're going to tear down some walls. Just tear down walls in people's lives in our communities. And Rendezvous is really going to break down some walls. I just can't wait to tear down more walls in our city, in our community, in the Christian world, and just expand and get bigger and better day after day. Rendezvous is going to get bigger and better than ever. Chains will be broken. Lives will be healed. Just watch. For all your sons and daughters who were walking in the darkness, who are calling us to lead them back to you. We will see your spirit rising as the last come out of hiding. Every heart will see this hope.